British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has been pushing for this legislation requiring judges to consider uh, Rwanda a safe third country. The government is planning to deport thousands of migrants who have arrived in the country in recent years, many of whom fled wars and poverty in Africa, the Middle East and Asia. Deportation flights are likely to begin in July. For more insight, VOA's Paul Ndiho spoke via Skype to Yasmin Ahmed, the UK Director at Human Rights Watch. Essentially, the, the bill that's now passed through Parliament means that uh, the UK government has, um, in one stroke, effectively undermined the rule of law in the United Kingdom and acted in breach of its own international obligations with respect to refugees and asylum seekers. The Supreme Court in the UK made very clear that Rwanda is not a safe country to send asylum seekers to. Uh, the UK government have then attempted to legislate away what the court has said, which they are, you, you're unable to do. The court has made a clear finding. Um, and to try and say that we, we, in any event, we're going to ignore what the court says and we're going to ignore our international obligations, which is to ensure that you do not send anyone to another country when there is a risk of mistreatment, including the possibility that they may be returned to the country that they are fleeing. So this is a very, very concerning development because it evidences that this government is willing to set aside and, in fact, just ignore the rule of law in the United Kingdom Kingdom and also the international obligations to protect refugees and asylum seekers. Human Rights Watch has uh, come out, uh, uh, condemned this. Uh, other uh, organizations have also done the same. Uh, what does this mean going forward? Human Rights Watch has been documenting violations of human rights, very serious violations of human rights in Rwanda for decades. The UK court has made very clear that Rwanda is not a safe country. So the UK government, by going forward with this deal, by passing this legislation, is acting in breach of its international obligations and is undermining the very idea of responsibility sharing and also undermining its ability to act on the international stage to promote the rules-based order. Is this something that can be challenged uh, through the legal systems, uh, uh, either in Europe uh, or in the UK? What will happen now is that uh, the government is likely to uh, issue and enforce removal notices against certain individuals. Those individuals will have a very, very limited right of appeal in relation to specific, specific characteristics that they may hold. What the UK government has done is prevented and told the UK courts that they are not allowed to find Rwanda an unsafe country per se, but they've allowed individual asylum seekers to make specific claims in relation to individual characteristics that they may hold. The British uh, Prime Minister, Mr. Uh, Rashi Sunak, has uh, contended that uh, this is to deter people from uh, coming into the United Kingdom. Uh, but uh, when you look across uh, the globe, uh, you see immigrants uh, uh, who are facing all sorts of challenges trying to flee those countries. Uh, could this uh, measure I deter anybody from trying to get into the United Kingdom. We know that they're ineffective. We know that people will continue to seek safety because they are in danger. And so what it ends up doing is rather than deterring people, let's be clear, this is not a deterrent. What this does is just make it a lot more dangerous for people who will come because they are, in fact, at risk of their life. That was Yasmin Ahmed, UK Director at Human Rights Watch, speaking to VOA's Paul Ndiho. Our effort to get a comment from a Rwandan government official were not successful.